Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a new uh, class in the Farsi scripts. In this script, we are going to learn the Farsi. Uh, now, before we start with the Persian script, it's called Farsi Persian. It's quite famous in the Stan region and Iran. Now, the first thing we need to know is that usually it's written with two pens. Uh, you've got two thicknesses. One is the pen that we mainly write with and the other one is one third this pen because in some cases we have letters such as the hat you do the head with the third of the pen then you go back and you do the body with the full size of the pen that's the first thing we need to know now you could practice doing the using the third of the pen and the full thickness and sometimes you use half and gradations it's just to get your head around the uh, scaling with this pen uh, we also need to uh, note that in this we are going to learn uh, type like one type because there are types such as the ta'liq, nastaliq and the shakshata uh, here we are going to do the nastaliq and it's going to be the arabian style uh, we are going to start with a quick note, another one, which regards the writing itself. In Farsi, if this was a straight line, and this is a vertical line, in Farsi the writing is going down to the left. That's the only script that uses this type of an angle while writing. So for example, the letter Alif in Ruqa is this one. It is going to the right. And in Nasikh, it's slightly going to the right, just like this. And uh, in Farsi, it's, it's not the same. In Farsi, they uh, go to the other uh, sort of the other way around. So here we've got, for example, an alif in Farsi. As we can see, it is slightly pointing towards the left. As we can see now the same thing goes for the other letters for example this one and the end of it uh, this is something to keep your uh, mind of uh, for example letters such as the uh, sad mm, that letter you would start with this shape now when you go back when you do the cup for the sad you actually go this way As we can see here, the, uh, the this shape, you will never find it in any other uh, script. Usually the cup of the side is going back, then this way, in all scripts. Meanwhile, in Farsi, no, you have to go the other way downward. Um, this is with the notes. We are going to start with the letter Aleph. Now, Aleph is three points high. With regards to the points of the Farsi, they are not as long as the Thalath and they are not as short as the Ruqan. Usually they do curve them a bit like this. So if you saw them curved, it's fine. So you could either curve them or do them this way. Now as we said, three points high and it has three parts. So the first part is pointing this way. You curve a bit like very slight curve, then you go down straight, then you curve back the other way around, like this. So the shape of the letter would be starting with a nice nudge up here. Here you have a, almost a triangle shape, then a straight line, then finally you end up with the uh, other way shape, like this, like a dagger. Now this is with regards to the letter Aleph, and make sure that it's not straight, it's going to the right a bit. Uh, let's see how it looks like when it's connected. Uh, you should practice this several times, because you need to make sure that it has a nice look and a nice angle to it. When it connects, the same way you go down this way, you go up. So, 
you do this. It points to the right. Usually, letters at the end point to the left. But in Farsi and Persian script, it points to the right. With regards to the ba, it has two shapes when it's singular. So, one shape is five points length, and the other one is between nine and eleven. Uh, it's the same as the Kshida ba. So we start with a five one. This is the straight line we have here. Uh, we've got one point, and with the width, we've got five points. One, two, three, four, five. Now, a note here, when you move with the bar, the angle of the pin changes. So you start with a very shallow angle. You're going down. You start to curve the pin upward. You see how the angle here was very shallow. And then it starts to change like this. Until you reach the end and you could do a nice thin line up here. It has to be like a sharpish line. So we're going down with a nice angle. We start to rotate the pin. And once we finish, we do a cutting move like this one. Now, it looks like a boat, if you were to compare it. Imagine that there you've got a boat, and this would be the end of it. The bar looks like this side of the boat. So to do it, you need to start very shallow and uh, you've got like three thirds of it. So uh, you could start here, then start changing and at the end you change it until it's not vertical. It's not vertical, it's slightly uh, going to the right. And uh, with regards to the other one, the bigger one, it looks different at the end. So here you will uh, start with the same thing with one point high and uh, with the same idea of shallow then vertical. Let's add a nice line up here because we need to govern our the drop. We're starting from here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we reach up to here. And it has to drop down to here. So we're starting with this, you're moving down. Then you like while moving down, you start like sort of curve the pin to this side, and then you go up. Now with this part, you will notice that at the end, you don't you just stop like this. It's it's the shape back here is just this nice nudge. You don't go up. So you've got this one that goes up at the end. And you've got the longer one that stops. Now this move is very important because we use it in a scene and in lots of letters. So it's quite it's a worthwhile move to learn now because you are going to need it in the future. Uh, next we are going to see the connection of the back. So, when you start practicing and writing, the connection sort of you're going to need are like a lot of them. There are lots of connections for you to, to learn. So, the first one is the one we saw with the uh, Aleph. So, you've got a small nudge downward, then you go up with an Aleph. This is quite famous, and you could uh, practice this very easy. Uh, you could connect it to a bat. But when you connect it, you have to use half the thickness, just like we did with the Nasikh. So you go down, it's half. And when you start the other part, it has to be the same as the ones we just practiced. So uh, it, it will look smaller, and all moves are pointing towards the right, regardless of where they were. So here you've got Beth, for example. Now, as you can see here, the letters sort of dropped really low. So when you continue writing, look how they sort of build on top of each other. This way you get a nice, neat uh, sort of script. And this is something you need to learn and practice. 
This is the first one. The second one is a special case for the hat. Uh, this one is three points long. One, two, three. Uh, you hold the pin the same angle, very sharp angle, and you go down just like this. Then you go back a hat, we will learn how in the future. And finally you finish the hat with the with this move. So this could be Bach or Bach or whatever. So this is the second back connection. Uh, we have a connection that comes with certain letters. It's one and a half points high. Just like this. And it's like going down with an alif. So if you were to write an alif in first, so you would do this. But for this one, you would start like it, but you won't continue it. It's just this part. Then you connect it, for example, with a seam. And here's where you need the several length, like sizes of the pens, or the skill to be able to control the thickness of the pen, where you can write with half of it, half or third, thicker, a bit thicker here. Then finally you would use the full thickness for it here. This, for example. It also comes with a big seam. So here you've got the one and a half, then you would use the back move, very shallow, then thick, stop, then the cup of the seam. Comes with the sod. You see how this is very thin, and the sod is also thin, and then it connects to a thick then the cup would be thick. We would look into the details later. Uh, it connects to a part. Same thing as the sata is similar, but it comes thin down here, and the alif is basically the normal alif we saw in other uh, in the alif. Uh, it comes with the ain, uh, with the fa and the qaf. So, ain. And fa. The fa is also the same as a ba. And a qaf. Now for the qaf, you stop here and you sort of do the qaf down here. And it's based on noon, so it would look like the sad. Uh, also a wow. So if you had a wow, we would look into those uh, in later lessons. Uh, now, the connection we used with the hat also comes with a meme and a hat, uh, just like the other scripts if you saw them, if you haven't seen them. Now, there's another one that comes with a yeah. So, this one is basically, it's like writing a number one, a comma, then a straight line, then the yeah connects to it. Just like this. Now, it comes with this year and it comes with the sword year, the one we usually uh, sort of use when we need to extend to the back. So here, you, you also see that this quite a lot in uh, scripts because it's pretty. And you go down and finally you go back with this, yeah. So this is bay or ba, alif maqsura, bay or ba. Now, there's another one that comes with ayn and fa. It's like half the thickness. You go up, then down, and this way. Then you would connect it to ayn, for example, or a fa. So you are using the half thickness. You see how you can control to get half, full half or full third, then going back with a thin line, then going back with a full third. So it's like doing this move, but with the f half a thickness, because the third of the thickness. So, or you j change it into a different pen. There's a smaller connection for the meme. This one, and you do the meme. Uh, there's also one with a rot, which is quite famous too. Um, for this one, you would. Uh, do the following. You'd go down, then you'd suddenly change to this curve. 
So you're going down, then curving up, as you can see here. Then you would connect it to a raw. The raw looks like this in Farsi. So this is bull. Uh, next, we are going to talk about how it looks like inside the uh, the script. So if you remember the one we did with the elif. But you don't do the full height of it, you just do like one point above this. Then when you continue it, you use the thirds we talked about. And full and go up. So, third, full, go up. Third, full, go up. So, it's just like the other scripts. You need to break every three uh, nebirats. Now, they all point to the right. And they are going downward because in this script you, we are going to see how we uh, sort of build the words on top of each other because they are going downward and they are pointing to the right. You will start to realize these differences in the future. Uh, for practice, you could write, for example, Beituna. Uh, so, Ba Ya Ta Nun. You've got Ba. Ya, ta, nun, alif. You've got three. So the first one would be short. The second one has to be tall. So you start with a short, tall, just like this, using the third of the pen. Then you use the two letters. Then you are going to use two shorts. Then a thick one for the alif. So ba, ya. Ta nun. Very easy, very nice. Uh, also, you're going to practice the alif, as you can see. Now, the line would be here. Uh, so, it's fine for you to drop below the line uh, because the script, as we're going to see, will be sort of built on top of each other. Now, to recap today, this lesson, we talked about. Uh, we started with the Pharisee and we saw some notes where the script itself goes to the right and the Aleph is sort of point downward to the left at the end. Uh, we saw the two types of the bars. Uh, I hope the notes were clear for you. If you have any questions, just ask. And what types of bars to use? So this one basically comes with all letters. In general, this one comes with the ha. If you had a meme or a ha, you would use this one too. Uh, then we talked about this high one to distinguish it when it comes with C inside, and fa, uh, and wow. So these are like joint rules and pseudo scripts. The one that once you start with one of them, even this one, it sort of drags on all other scripts. You got this one for the year. You could use these ones, but this one is just prettier. You also have this one uh, that you could use, the curving up and down. Uh, then this pretty one with a ra. And finally, we talked about these connections and how to make them. Because inside the word, you will need to break any three nebirats. Now, uh, this script is not easy as the others, so you need to be skillful to a degree and I hope you enjoyed it uh, keep up the good work and I will catch you up the next time this has been Amal Al-Dikifai